Hi, everybody. Recruiting animal here. I'm going to tone it down, okay? Recruiting animal here on May 25th, 2025. We had another guest scheduled, but uh, she canceled. And our good friend Priya Shefna uh, volunteered to step in as a guest panelist. But I got to tell you, she's causing me lots of problems already in the pre-show, okay? So I don't know what's going to happen during the show itself. I do have some housekeeping issues. Uh, our good friend Donna got in touch with me yesterday and uh, she told me she's not gonna be able to come on the show uh, anymore because she's taking some uh, voice lessons uh, at this very time. And I gotta tell you, she sent me some recordings of herself singing. She's fabulous. <laughs> I was, yeah, oh yeah, you can ask her for it. It's oh. just terrific, incredible. That's one thing. Michael G. Cox hasn't been here for a few weeks. His wife is very sick. Okay, she posted about it online uh, this week and she's looking for moral support. If you want to send her good wishes or uh, bright light or whatever you do, uh, she needs it. Okay. And uh, what's the, th the third thing I'll mention is that Donna told me when she started in her new job well when she started recruiting a year or two ago she didn't get any training and she found the recruiting animal shows old archive of audio shows and she said that's how she learned i don't really believe it a hundred percent i think she's a natural but uh i gotta tell you so many people were always telling us i don't learn anything on your show no 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 she said she learned okay and not only that you know, she said when she had a problem, she called Michael G. Cox because she heard him talking on the show. OK, so there you go, everybody. Bragging for the first uh, five minutes of the show. OK, MaryOfTheRecruiter.com. Raise your hand. OK, Clang.so. Raise your hand. OK, I got to tell you, there's all kinds of people, especially on the Herc group, to say begging about what what applicant tracking system should I use? And and I switched from Bullhorn to Loxo and someone says, yeah, you're not gonna like that in six months either. This is the essential question in recruiting. What ATS should I use? And there's no answer except clang.so, okay? And our good friend Priya, P-R-I-Y-A, Shefna, she's a healthcare recruiter. And uh, what's the URL? You know, I have problems with it. CareerSolutions.org. What is it? It's ukeycareersolutions.org. Mm -hmm. Is there no hyphen in there anymore? No. U, like the letter U, T K E Y. Yeah. Okay. Solutions. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you'll see she's a wonderful person and you're going to want to do business with her. Okay. Anybody else got to say something before we get going? Okay. Here's, here's what I found. Somebody said that Bing, Bing, B-I-N-G gives you better results when you're doing searches uh, uh, on, on LinkedIn, uh, x-ray searches from, uh, from a search engine. Bing gives you better results than Google. And Steve Levy said it's because they're both Microsoft projects, uh, products, and that just makes common sense. Does anybody else ever compare Bing to uh, Google and and compare their results? What about you, Priya? You first. I haven't yes. done that yet, but... Um... But we were just in the conference in Denver, right? And I think, I think it was Batman who provided a link where it gives you like a side-by-side -side comparison of your searches, which is cool. So I'm going to test it out one day, not today. You went to a conference uh, without a mask or mask? You mean mask? No, no mask. I'm vaccinated. Okay, I got to tell So am I. So what? Okay, I got to tell you, Donna also told me, I don't think I'm revealing anything. She said on the show that she had uh, COVID. It sounded like, you know, she didn't care at all. It was bad. Okay, it was bad. You don't want to get COVID. Okay, now maybe I you're on your show, whether I wear a mask or not. It's not going to happen. I'm like boosted, vaccinated, everything. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So Bing, there's no information of, from these dopes here about that. Okay. What about scheduling software? Uh, somebody said, who uses something like Calendly that is not Calendly? And a bunch of people gave uh, their examples of what they use. Does anybody uh, here have a, 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 a scheduling software that they yeah. love? Yeah. So, and in fact, I wanted to give them a shout out as well, because yesterday we demoed um, Hone It. And they're not a scheduling software, but they have scheduling. Freaking fantastic. 
because it gives you gives you your link, which you can just send to your candidates, and just like Calendly, you can. They can Opponent just, used oh. to be a sponsor of this show. H o h o n e i t dot com. Oh, that was how I introduced. Okay, they are good, but I went to one of their demos. They do it every Tuesday now, right? They've got the online shows. Tuesday, yeah. Okay. And the thing is, Honit creates a, a full recording of the interview. It allows you to create, this is, uh, I think, the key thing. It allows you to create um, clips, uh, Voice clips clip. of, of the key part that you could pass on to the hiring manager, uh, and you don't have to worry about notes. It also creates a, a text transcription. But listening to people talk to Nick Livingston, the CEO, uh, who's a great guy, uh, very smart, about the transcription, it sounded to me like it's not perfect. It's not It's not great. She says if she wants to send a, 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 a section to the transcript, she has to do a lot of editing, just like if you're using uh, uh, voice-activated uh, dictation on uh, Google Keep or something like that. Uh, that's my yeah. concern. That's a concern for me. Do you have any, anybody got thoughts about that? No. I mean, they are, they have been in business for what, six years? So I'm assuming what you saw years ago may have changed. That was last week. I went to his uh, online demo and a, a girl complained about it. Okay. Mario, are you raising your hand? No, I can't hear you. Okay. Wake up. That's why you don't. Look, I can read your lips. Eh? I can, we can all see what you're saying. <laughs> this was so funny that's just like in the silent movies they uh the, the people they used to swear and and look okay is it clear now yeah i can hear you oh shit just because i use damn oculus this whole system goes for a six okay i'm sorry for interrupting priya can you share the link please? sorry <laughs> but go on uh, now can you share the link that you were talking about that compares both bing and google you know what let me find it. Um, there's like a lot Please of material, do. so let me dig in. I will have it in the box before the end of today. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'll Thank bet you can find it just by going on the search engine. I'm lazy. That's why I asked Priya. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but nobody's really getting turned. Okay. You did answer. Anybody uh, else got a call? Go okay. Uh, Michael G. Cox used to use book uh, like a boss. He liked it, but actually he started using Honits just like you. Okay. He went to hone it and he started using their calendar system, but other people recommended these easyappointments.org, easyappointments.org, acuity scheduling, A C U I T Y scheduling.com. Lots of people like that one. Microsoft Bookings, B O O K I N G S, goodtime.io, and doodle.com. Anybody familiar with those? I you know, Rich heard. Rosen would have tried all of them if he were here. Okay, he he just plays with all this stuff. I don't know where he gets the time. Okay, here's hey. one for, yeah. No, I mean I can't. I have also used Hornet, but uh, I couldn't integrate it with my systems yet. Okay. So I've kind of got to get on it again. But yeah, it's an awesome tool, and actually, it's better than a lot of other scheduling stuff, especially for MPC marketing. Hornet, Hornet, Hornet. You guys all know Hornet. How do you use yeah. about it? How do you use Hornet for marketing? I mean, there's a way to use it to, to market a most placeable candidate. I've not got around to using it. The problem is now I'm just really getting into the group. So it's pretty good. Is someone got sne someone sneezing in the background or is that? Is no, that no, no. They're, they're sawing some wood in the background. Don't ask me. They're doing some work in the office. My bad luck. Okay. What time is it in India? Okay. Okay. Here, here's one. Uh, I'm not in India. Okay. Yeah, he's not in India. Okay. He's I'm all over the world. Virginia. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a recent study found that 32% of supervisors said too much skin is one of the biggest problems with how their employees were dressing right after too casual. Too casual, 47% say that their, uh, their staff is too casual and they're dressed. 32% say too much skin. I posted that. It came from The Atlantic, a major magazine. I didn't make it up, okay? And someone commented, stop policing our bodies. I'm not policing her body, okay? It was in a major magazine as an issue. I'm not making this stuff up. Whenever I, I post about grooming, people say, you know, you're evil. I'm not evil. What do you say, Priya? Um, okay, so I live in the Bay Area, right? So techies don't care about grooming. Really bugs me. Don't wear your short cargos and flip-flops to the office. 
it's just, I don't like it. And it's too casual. It's, I don't know. It's just not. Would you tell your candidates don't wear a belly shirt when you go for an interview? 100%. Yes. You do to actually tell them? I will tell them how to dress, but I am healthcare. So it has to be corporate. What about you, uh, Mario? You're nodding there. Yeah. Do you tell uh, people what to wear? Hopefully the guys I work with are not that stupid. Okay. Yeah. She's with a different clientele. She's in healthcare. I'd say mostly women, right? Technicians? They're dangerous. Sure. I mean, yeah. No. Okay. No, that's a no. Yeah. I I said, yeah. You said, Um, no. Okay. I don't. don't She's confused. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ivan, Ivan, I don't hate to bother you. Do you have any input? Your guys are, they don't go out for on-site interviews, do they? Of course. As the last round, you always have an on-site interview uh, most of the time, even now. Oh, really? And, okay. Yeah. And do you tell them what to wear? Mm, you that's guys, actually you, a good idea. You, 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 I describe, yet... you describe your, your candidates as kind of dense, okay? Uh, I mean... Uh, they, oh, they, they don't the, see this for your video. No, the, I mean, people are different, right? So They can like, see it. There you go. Um, I, I'm sure I should actually do that. Like, I, I never thought about it because I was like, okay, yeah, tech, it's always about, you know, basically about soft skills and, um, and, and, and hard skills. And of course, the dressing stuff is a little bit about the soft skill part, right? Yeah. So uh, I should. If well, you just, you've yeah, obviously I, I never th- had any reason. Sh- Priya, have you ever had any, any uh, hiring manager say, hey, you know, did you ever meet this person, how they dress? I've had, I've had that. We haven't done I've it directly, it but, you know, I have had managers tell me this person's um, demeanor wouldn't be a cultural fit. And mm. it, was, it was very, very subtle, but you can tell if you have, if you're working in healthcare and you have those coffin nails and you're going to draw blood as a phleb. Oh, yeah. Um, but Ivan, if you Who are- Who thinks good, those are attractive? I, 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 I don't know. I, I think Maureen called uh, them stripper, I, stripper nails or something. I ain't gonna comment on this. My wife watches the show, so I'm. Oh, she likes. She likes. She likes. No, 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 no. She's happen. practical. Um, but anyway, I mean, if you are gonna start like approaching your candidates with that, what really helps us because you don't know who's gonna be offended, right? So we Perfect. put in a little, um, like a like a template in our emails, like interview tips. Keep some mm-hmm. gum on you. <laughs> Don't wear too much perfume. You don't know who's allergic. Dress well. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I have yeah, you know, my interview prep is more about technical stuff, but this this is like me being so dumb, like mm-hmm. totally forgetting this uh, very helpful uh, things. So. Yeah. I mean, but come on, uh, if you're dealing with uh, people who have some standards, they're not gonna be into these kind of things, right? Uh, yeah. Like this, like this, the candidates I deal with are engineers, like. Yeah. this anything can happen yeah, right i mean yeah i won't say so no. absolutely yeah, if you tell them hey uh, maybe it's a, not the worst idea to yeah just wear a shirt or at least like a shirt like that right wear a shirt yeah okay no, yeah, I, I mean no when it's an what about shoes video? you tell them to wear shoes as well <laughs> but you know what she does because she said that she doesn't like them going in and flip-flops but i hear that everybody down there wears flip-flops yeah tech not not healthcare i mean that oh. may be the reason why they are Nah, the flip office flops, is the office. Flip no flops, way, everybody. They're they're not no good way. for your feet, okay? Because yeah. your your toes are always gripping. They have to grip the front in order to keep the flip flop from going up. Also, just, just, just to, see, you get health tips on the recruiting animal show. What else do you need? I could go. Oh, I could give a lot more. So could Ivan. Okay. Let's also take a moment to talk about how they're a safety hazard. California, we're like due for an earthquake. Anything can happen. You're not running in your flip flops, my friend. Oh, okay. So oh, that, wear... they're gonna slide into the ground with their flip flops. <laughs> she she wears metal <laughs> tips uh, and, and like you know uh, those army boots all the time, just in case uh, the world uh, uh, tries to end. Oh, okay. Uh, now, Priya, I've got you know just before we go on, I just wanted to say that when you know when Donna was saying she listened to all the audio shows it was all just audio but since we're visual I think I mentioned this sort of last week if you uh when you're talking if you want to gesticulate to make yourself seem more interesting you know feel free okay I do it so uh you know if you want to interesting I didn't say you're not interesting. You know what? I got to tell you, she's the kind of person you don't, never want to compliment or anything like that. Because if you compliment her on her hair, she'll say, what's wrong with my lipstick? Okay. Uh, the, I don't know. You can just imagine the, the status of the poor man who's married to her. 
Well, you know, she loves him. I've seen her make a big declaration. Yeah, that's why he's on, that, that, on Facebook. <laughs> see, see, I'll tell you something very honestly. I, I mean, Priya, this, this is just a joke, okay? I don't believe any declarations of love on Facebook. Seriously, that's crazy yeah. crap, okay? But I do. I can I believe see how them. the man survives. I believe him. I believe them. Okay, so maybe I'm stupid. I, I am naive, okay? I admit it. I'm okay. Ia, even but now. To circle back on your point, I mean, what was the word you used? Gesticulate gesticulate don't you know that no no it's, english is not my first language uh, you know what we had a fight about this last time you've it's been not. living in the united states since you were 12 years old you said okay I you sound like an american okay don't and uh, don't criticize me for pointing that out okay <laughs> gesticulate's a normal word anyway yeah. my I, I feel like my quirk makes me gesticulate three what quirk no. do you have? Jesus, you, know. you just murdered the English language. I've never heard quirk. Of, I've never quirk. Heard she word. knows the word quirk, but He's she doesn't quirky. know gesticulate, yes, sure. which actually uh, brings to mind something. You know, Billie Eilish, that 18 or 19 year old oh, uh, yeah. music sensation. <laughs> she was complaining this week that people laugh. She apparently she's got Tourette syndrome. Does everybody know what it is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and so she's got ticks. <laughs> And so people laugh at her. And, and so I was wondering if anyone has ever had uh, a candidate with uh, Tourette syndrome. No. Okay. Uh, well, you know, if, if, if you're in an interview with someone and all of a sudden they start jerking or, or saying words and stuff like that, it, it's going to be surprising. Like outburst also sometimes? Pardon me? Isn't Tourette's like where you have like- Yeah, a go see Deuce Bigelow. I posted a link and- uh, Glenn, Glenn Gutman. I love said, that. I love that. Book. He said, that's not funny anymore. Okay. He said, it's outrageous. That's hilarious. Uh, okay. But you know what? This is, this is bad for me to say something like that. I just know it. Okay. But Priya, okay. Uh, I was going to set you up at the beginning of the show. You know, I've got these 10 short rules of recruiting going, right? Uh, yeah. And I, I attribute them. And so I post them almost every week now. I love them. And yours is one of them. And you and Jerry were attacked this week, okay? Your okay. rule is, if in doubt, throw it out, right? Yeah, the, the resume, not the person. I'm sure they're lovely people. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, okay, thanks for that clarification. If in doubt, throw it out, okay? This person said, if in doubt, send it out, okay? If in doubt, send them out. If you've all got, you know, maybe it's a maybe, don't, don't, you know, give the give the client a chance to reject the person. I think that that makes just as much sense as yours. Um, and it does for some people, but it, I just wouldn't. I mean, I'm contingent workforce, right? So if I'm not sending a good one, and somebody else sends somebody who's like minutely better than my candidate, sure, that person gets the placement. But at the same time, in the client's head, it's like Priya's not sending good people. So my face is going on every resume I send out. So I'm not sending it out if I'm a maybe. You put your face I, on every resume? No, you know what I mean. And like You mean your name? Okay. <laughs> face, no, like, she's talking about a brand animal. Going with every resume that goes Why out. Why is it we've got attention today? Uh, you know, you don't like the show anymore. You're coming on, but you want to fight with me. I don't care. I'm ready, honey. No, she's passive no. aggressive today. I'm trying to explain it to you. Um, you're, you're gesticulating. <laughs> I'm just just take your lane a little higher. I like to see it. Looks like how I want to get back. Like animal, this. This is the, when you're mad at I, me, I, point at me. Just animal, like animal, this is a this is a typical Indian gesticulation. <laughs> just She's doing that. Myself. Chop, chop, chop. Um, and also, I think one of Yuki's like strength is we don't just take any client or any candidate, right? Like we some of the clients I work for, I actually feel like I'm their employee because I really believe in them. So same way, like I want the hiring manager to know my passion for this candidate. So I can't fake it. Yeah, I gotta yeah but are question. we talking about like uh, borderline? I mean, this quote I think is more about like you're on the fence. So what happened to me once in uh, some time ago was like, okay, the new client and they want like uh, DevOps with like Azure and stuff. And then there was like a candidate with uh, Google App Engine. So something similar, but not exactly that. And I didn't send the candidate. And then another agency sent it who's super big, not so like sympathetic, like not so nice like me. I'm like a one person shop. Everybody wants support, wants to support small businesses. So this other very bad agency was like a multi hundred people, you know, like army of recruiters. 
and they sent exactly this candidate and this candidate got hired and the client ended up uh, to pay a huge fee and they were really like sorry about it I'm like oh Iwan, why the hell didn't you send it? We would much rather give you the money than this company we don't actually see, like. See, that's so the danger, this is okay? Like, this is like, uh, this was really bad in my head since then. I'm like uh, brain damaged. This is one of the worst. Like, I mean, it was really not nice. I mean, back then, but it's already some time ago, some years ago. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I mean, is it, so that is kind of always what probably recruiters think in their head. If it's like a maybe, if it's a clearly like no go, then of course we don't send uh, that person to but um, that's always the question, right? So do you have this situation even a lot per week? Or is it like, what do you, what's your thinking process when the situation occurs where it's like a maybe and how do you like, yeah, because kind of the work is done, right? I mean, you had the phone call, you notice the person is maybe less good than you thought, but still the person is somewhat a fit. So like, what's the thinking process then? Right, so if the maybe is more inclined towards the yes, then I'll probably forward the resume to Lisa before I do anything else. Cause I, I need a fresh pair of eyes. Maybe I'm wrong. That's but, her partner, everybody. Yeah. So I don't know. Sometimes your maybe is more inclined towards like, this is not happening, but they're not. Okay. Really Hold on a second. Wait a second. Uh, and remind me, I got to take Ivan to task about something. Okay. But uh, with this, what he suggested Priya is uh, that if you've got a candidate, like it's a maybe there's always a danger. You don't think there's a danger that some of your competition is going to send this person out and you're going to get scooped? Why not send the person out yourself with a note saying, you know, I'm not sure about this person. These are the positives and these are the negatives. You might want to <laughs> rule them out, but I just, I just thought I'd give you the choice. What I'm, about that? When I was honest with the hiring manager and I said, you know, I'm not sure, but I could be wrong. Why don't you take a look? Her response to me was, if you're not sure, then why are you sending them over? So since then, I was like, Don't be that's, a, that's a stuck up hiring manager. That was a stuck but, up hiring manager and we're not working together anymore, but it kind of like, I don't yeah. know. Priya, I want to ask you a question. Are yeah. you working on some software roles right earlier? I remember some time back. No. Yeah, no, she said I mean, she was doing, you're like, right. Yeah, she she said she was doing Dude, some you, IT. You can't get, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm super sharp in those things. I was trying to tap into tech recruiting, but I just, I don't get it. It's so hard. <laughs> I don't have the aptitude for it. So yeah. You know what you got to say to that hiring manager? You said you were high class. That was <laughs> just a lie. <laughs> Foodindustryrecruiter.com. Uncle Ernie, raise your hand. Thank you. You know what? He's like the Joker or Prince, always with the purple, okay? I, I, I hate yeah, to point yeah. it out, but I noticed, okay? I don't know if he's in a cult or something. He's, okay. he's like the monster... You know the monster Barney. branding? Monster. Barney. Yeah. Barney, Barney. The monster. No, no, not, not Barney. Not the dinosaur. I'm talking about the monster <laughs> resume board branding color. Resume. Resume. Yeah, resume. Resume board. Okay. Yeah, resume board. Okay, whatever. Before I forget, I wanted to attack Ivan. Okay. <laughs> I, this is gonna be good I was enough attacked in this week's uh, <laughs> Facebook group questions. I think people are trolling. Some of the people in this group. They are really trolling. It's like, I don't know where they get the energy from. Trolling like, oh, is oh, you're so wrong. Okay. You're this so guy bad. has a better so excuse ridiculous. than you. Okay, Priya. He's in another country now, still. Okay. <laughs> and he's <laughs> lived in a couple of countries as well. Okay. Here's his problem. Okay. He sent out. What was your problem? Now I forget. That's what, fine. What we don't discuss every No, no, I want to discuss it. That was like, I also forgot. Actually. <laughs> okay, I remember what it was. It's one of my favorite issues. He sent out two candidates and ah, exactly. he himself hated one of them. Okay, he hated the guy, even though the guy had the qualifications, right? And so he was going to recommend that if they hire this candidate that he doesn't like, he wasn't going to give them a guarantee. I said to myself, he had, just like I'm telling you, Priya, he had to send that person out to cover himself. Someone else might have sent him, just like he told yeah. you the story about that other. If right. he's a, if he's so picky, someone else isn't going to be so picky. They might send them out and they might hire that guy and he'll kick himself saying, why did, but he, once he sends <clears throat> out his candidate, he doesn't have a right to say, I'm not going to give you my guarantee on this. What do you say? But, but we got we to understand that Ivan is so wealthy. He doesn't need that. He doesn't need that, that kind yeah. of petty money. You know, he'll he did, donate he it. He did send them out. He if, sent if out they, the two if, and he doesn't like have, one. If they hire this guy that he doesn't like, that money's getting donated to some charity. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. He, I, I, uh, I heard that Rich did something like that. So I added this like with the guarantee actually to 
have him uh, explain the situation because he once described the story which was very similar and he said the same thing and I wanted to support it from the community to understand this obviously I'm not suggesting this to this client because for me it's also like hey we, we said every candidate gets a guarantee and it's your choice but what I definitely did was in the beginning I was thinking this person is great the person was great but then if you see that every time you get ghosted you have to follow up with the person. Okay, about yeah, the guy, gonna, yeah. Tell, 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 then, the guy was hard to get in touch with him, uh, right? Yeah. So <laughs> maybe it was a woman. I said the person. You don't know. You're assuming things. That's very bad of you. And you tell us which which was it. It was a person, and uh, basically, yeah, okay. uh, it was the, a guy. The interaction was, was. I know not, it was a guy. Uh, great, but the person was actually super nice. I mean, so it's like on the edge, right? But I I will say the other one because the the direction was perfect. Like I couldn't see any like really big motivation to join the company. I just communicated that and we will have a decision. This thing is not resolved yet. I don't know what will happen, but uh, I feel that the client was very appreciative. She, they said, hey, uh, I'm, I'm uh, super nice that you uh, give, your, give your thoughts and they made the appearance that they are very thankful for my input. Because once something happened, uh, the same thing uh, also to candidates and the client emails me the decision that they want to hire candidate A and it was exactly the same. And I did not communicate with the client. This was in November. And I was like, damn it, why they lie? Like, there must be a reason. Okay, good. And I knew this person is, 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 is like flaky. And what happened was the most terrible situation you can imagine, I kid you not. So this first candidate that they offered because they were unsure because second candidate, the interview was- I'm getting lost, ago. okay? I don't yeah. know what you're talking about sorry. anymore. So Mario, oh, I'm cutting you off, okay? Mario, <laughs> what about this thing <laughs> with me. the- no, I didn't see for you to leave the show. I didn't oh, come I'm like that. The picture. I'm now angry because I want okay. to start. The story is great. Okay. It's a great story. Well, okay. never do that to you. well, we just all come out bigger on the picture, okay, while we're talking about you. Okay, I want to know what Mario thinks. Okay, because Jerry told him. Jerry said, don't you sh you were you should if you're not sure of the candidate the candidate's showing you the whole way that he's you know very iffy about the job you shouldn't have even sent him out I don't agree with Jerry I agree with Ivan he did the right thing and send them out I, yeah. I don't understand any of these comments like uh, like fifty percent of the comments are complete trolling it's like oh why why did you send the candidate if you knew this so bad blah, blah, blah. I'm like hey, are you kidding me like you don't know from the first conversation I want the person's I want those, like are you I want that like, I want that these people don't realize that we are in the business of dealing with people. It's like, I mean, but these people yeah. apparently are other recruiters, but like they are- Who like, said everyone is a good recruiter? I you want to know what Mario team. has to say. What's your advice to Ivan? If, if uh, he said, actually the person was nice. I didn't know that. He said, yeah. but still yeah. the person this was is, not cooperative. It was a very no, this uncooperative. Is, listen, listen, listen. This has happened to us plenty of times. All right. The person's an angel on the phone. They talk well, they go to the interviews. Then they turn out to be the devil. Okay, when you're trying to reach them. <laughs> All right, so we are, it's part and parcel of dealing with uh, people here. Okay, you're looking for a candidate with a certain set of skills, you're going to deal with a couple of monkeys. All right? So it's okay. So, I mean, send them in. Who cares? We'll see what happens next. Okay, but what's the worst that will happen? He doesn't want to back that up with the guarantee. Priya, I'll get to you in a sec. Why back my candidates with, all, with the guarantee? No doubt. You can't help it. We actually had to replace two candidates, uh, one last year and now one currently uh, right now. We're working on a replacement. That's what because I the say. Moron if he presented does... them, if he presented the no, candidate, the guy, the back it up. I, I tell you, I'll tell you the background story. The candidate was super strong. The client needed the candidate. Okay. But the moron doesn't take calls with the PM when he's supposed to take calls with the PM in the morning because he works in uh, LA. All right. He can't get up one hour early and the client runs in EST time zone. In EST. So. <laughs> it reminded me, someone's complaining his candidate wouldn't go for an interview because he would miss his lunch. <laughs> no, I thought that. I'm pretty sure the candidate should be at least 300 pounds and above. Priya what? wants to talk. Go ahead. Wait, yeah, what did you say, Mario? I'm sure the candidate. You must raised be your over hand. You wanted pounds. to say, you wanted to talk to Ivan. No, but I just, I, I didn't hear him. Um, <laughs> a little bit. Okay. Because I'm gonna like throw a shoe at me or something a little bit off topic, but I really was super no, excited no, about this story. Can I share with you guys? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. It's all fun. Never believe who I met in Denver. Super random. I don't know. You and Andre. Yes. Brad Pitt. Andreas from Iceland. Yeah, I know. I saw the picture. So random, right? I was yeah, like, yeah, it's cool. so Andreas. Cool. Andreas. Who is Andreas was a guy from uh, what do you call Reykjavik? Iceland. You remember the guy who came on the show last year? Oh, Johansson. 
Yeah. Oh, Anderson, oh, oh, yeah. Right. He's got a gap between his two front yeah, teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the this guy? This is the recruiter. Yeah, he's a guy. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, he's a nice guy. Most and smashing he's... thing ever. Like in freaking Denver of all places. Can you imagine? Yeah, it's, it's he's, he's trying to get he some lives skills. on a little island. <laughs> <laughs> if he wants to meet somebody, he's got to go somewhere. I mean, he's in the middle of nowhere. Although you'd figure you're yeah. more likely to meet him in Denmark than, than Denver. But they both had to start with Den. So maybe he thought he was going to Denmark and he ended up in Colorado. Okay. Okay. That, yeah. So we've we've told Ivan. Uh, uh, Ernie, do you want to give Ivan some advice? Uh, or... I, I, I'd say Ivan just, when you send him in, just shut up. Send him in, see where it goes. But make sure that your contract says you're going to replace replace that replacement just one time. And if you can't make the replacement, then they get a credit going forward on another search. But don't don't worry about this one guy. I, just, Ernie, I love you for that, man. Seriously, kudos. Well, That's awesome. Can we just then take a moment to talk about the contract guarantees? Because recently, I took out the guarantee and nobody has had any pushback. Because like, sure, I'm sending the candidate, but you're also putting them through seven rounds of internal vetting. So own it. We have seven inter interviews? Seven rounds? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Manager, district manager, regional manager, freaking leads. Yeah. Why don't they I have a panel interview? CEOs? That's outrageous. I don't, know. I don't know. But I mean, I really don't know. Um, but like, after all that, you have to take ownership, right? No. No? Because, Why? because... If they have seven people interviewing them, you know one thing. Mm -hmm. The hiring manager doesn't know how to make decisions. Like, why in the hell do you get seven people? I mean, in reality, give me three people. We decide, we hire them, get in line, and start working. I get it. But while the candidate is going through those rounds, it's the recruiter well, keeping them engaged. What's, like what's your guarantee? I'm not guaranteeing. What was it before? That's what we wanted to know. We, we understand you dropped it. What was it? Oh, um, it was 30 day, 30 day replacement, mm -hmm. one time replacement. That's it. And how often yeah. did you have to exercise it? Zero so far. I've never had to replace, but then also I, I, my perm placements are not that high volume. It's yeah. okay. But did you, yeah, let me, yeah, one sec. did you go, did mind. she go back? Did you go back to your existing clients and say, forget the guarantee now, or you just didn't mention it or, or what? No. So this particular client, um, I've always done temp staffing with them for two yeah. years. Mm -hmm. So they know me, um, and when they asked to do a perm placement, I sent them the reviewed one. So they hadn't even seen the perm placement. Okay, you guys go on, just Ernie and uh, Mario. But that's easier, right? I mean, to uh, uh, tell old clients that you'll remove something that's always, did you do this? Probably not, right? No, she didn't. No, it won't work. With but a couple I, of clients, it won't work. Old so you're, not dealing, you're not dealing with this client anymore? Yeah. You still are? So, you know, I think Priya, the, the thing is this, what, what, like you, no, no, you wait. know you really well, um, and these are our favorite clients. So just like, think about it. You know, if they know you, they know your work, take out the guarantee. See what no, 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 I'm sorry. The thing, the thing that is, won't work. But the thing is with all of it, it's like, you got to decide who you want to work with. And if you like them, if not, sure. if it's a good company and you want, you get excited about the company, then you stick with them. If you don't have enough business, then maybe you deal with them. But for the most part, you move on because there's other companies and there's that phone call that'll come and somebody will tell you, I need people. And all of a sudden you're happy because you got new job orders. But what happens if you place somebody and uh, they get fired after two weeks and they come back and say, Priya, you know, we want you to handle this. What are you going to say? Tough luck? No. <laughs> well, first of all, in two weeks, do you get money? Did you get their pay? Did you get yeah, paid? That's the next okay, question. Let's say let's, I want to ask the question. Go ahead, Mario. Yeah, well, well, what's your payment term like generally? Not to go into details, but uh that's a lot of question. I think it's like 60 days, 60 or 90, one of those. Did you get paid in 60 days? We got I mean, you're talking direct hire or contract? Contract is 60 to 90 days. I'm talking direct yeah. hire. Direct hire is also 60 to 90 days. I don't know why. It's just easier for the I do payment within 10 days or no minus guarantee. 30. Or no yeah, guarantee. 30. Yeah, if not no guarantee for my case also. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah, no. Minus 30 days. Priya, I'll tell you something. Maybe that may work out for you because they're not paying within 30 days. That's why they're okay with it. All right. Okay. But if you put in a clause that you need to make the payment in 30 days, they're yeah. going to come back asking for a guarantee. See, I give some clients a 90-day guarantee. 
some are 60, some are 30. So you okay? think it's the and, terms that determine? Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. I mean, if you're getting the money up front, I have a client, okay, with whom I've worked with, and I they pay me the minute the guy starts. Mm. Right, but if the guy doesn't work out, we need to replace him or return the money back. Okay. I don't, uh, Jay, I, don't, I don't believe in returning money back. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That like, was, I, I signed just, it up when I was, Ernie, yeah. I signed it up two years ago. Yeah, I want to no, ask I Ernie a question. Back. Ernie says if they don't pay in 10 days, no guarantee. Yeah. What if they don't pay in 10 days? It's a regular customer, but before 30 days are up, they get rid of this person and they come to you and you're going to say, and they haven't paid yet. And, and so it's not even 30 days and you're going to say, hey, you haven't paid me yet. No guarantee for you. I don't believe you'd do well, that, well, Ernie. Well, I, I, I use that. When There's no guarantee because you didn't pay me. Now, if you want to talk about filling this position or another position, let's talk. But what else you got on the table? Would you actually you, say to them, I'm not going to guarantee? I'm not. I'm yeah, not I'm, either, I'm saying you didn't. Like right there in, on the invoice, it says pay within 10 days. I've told you that. We've talked. It didn't get paid. You guys dropped the ball. There's no guarantee hey, on that one. Hey. Hey, I have a question, okay? And, and uh, you know what? And if they don't like it or whatever, well, that's fine. But for the most part, there's two What there's do you mean clients. it's fine? It's fine. What does that mean? What it you means say? it's fine with me. I'm, uh, they, they don't Buzz tell off, me. off, buddy. I don't care. Hey. It's no skin off my ass. Is uh, that animal, what you animal. tell them? Animal. Pretty, mu pretty on much. I mean, because you, you, you got to decide what clients you want to work with. And you better have a solid relationship with the people you're dealing with. And they got to understand your style and your and what you're dealing with. And you're constantly reminding them, yeah, I get paid within 10 days. Now you, Mr. HR person or Mr. Hiring Manager, get with your AP and make sure I get paid. You or constantly no remind them. What does that mean? Hold on. What Donna said what she liked was that we dig in. We don't let some people just talk. We bug them. What does it mean? And I'll, we'll get to everybody on this. It's what it means thing. is you talk to them. You talk to you talk to your hey, people. Hey, hey, Bill. I just want to remind you again that if you don't pay me in ten days, when you, I, if you I hire got, this I, candidate, I got, I got, I got no guarantee, paid. buddy. How often do you tell them? Well, I, I get paid within ten days. I got a check this week for the five days. I got, I sent out an invoice yesterday. They said it's going to, it's going to AP right now. Okay. Anybody, you guys are Mario and, yeah. and Priya uh, want to talk. Go actually, ahead. Actually, I'm going through a similar situation right now. What happened is uh, a client is overdue on their invoice and I need to replace the candidate. But the problem here is this is a good client that has paid on time previously. To see the background is the AVP is moving to a different company, the guy who actually handles the finances. Okay, so they're trying to get everything organized. It's like five days overdue. Okay, so now I'm just waiting and seeing if I don't get the payment in another four more days, or I'll give them another one week. I'll send them an email saying I'm not replacing the candidate for free. You guys uh, way, went way past the payment. Dude. And, oh, but don't mix and, that. Don't, don't, don't mix that. Like, just say, hey, uh, like... Uh, no, I sent a reminder X, and I contacted like, the HR. So, who I so, deal with, and she's brought it up. Way. So Mario, Mario, if you're in that situation, then the guy comes. You're you're not talking to the accounting people. You're talking to your contact within the, the organization, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you let him know that you're cutting him a favor. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Don't, you know, normally, oh, don't worry not. about it. I am going to make them pay for it later. Mario, let us review it just for your just for your sake. Awesome. Tell me, tell me. It's don't get the consequence right away. <laughs> pay me or else. No, I wouldn't do pay me oil, so I never do that. I'd be very polite. I'll tell because you what's going on. Business. They don't want to pay you for nothing. No way. They want you to, to replace the guy before they give you any money. That's what's going on. So what? Yeah. So what if they insist on that? What yeah, do but, do? but I mean, if if and you they avoided the contract, they're screwed. If you, contract if, is a piece if, of paper. If, but if you if no, you if listen, you place listen, listen if you place on somebody, the contract, yeah, I have placed the guy. The guy has started. He's okay, still working. But the guy's there. not there. They're gonna right? No, he's still there. Oh. They want to replace him with another guy. That's the fun part of it. So I'm just coolly sitting and just, you know, doing the, I'm going to have fun. So much fun now. But yeah, it's, as I said no, earlier, no, it's a business kind of call. Fun so. I want. No. no, it's a business. See, uh, uh, Animal, it's a business call. Okay. I know from them I'll get another 200K in business this year at least. So it's either I argue with this or give them like, show them I'm doing a favor. That's it. That's what the Ernie recommended. Yeah, exactly. You let you let them know when you're bending the rules for them. You let them know yeah, what the rules are, definitely. generally speaking. 
Yeah. You know, Ernie is soft spoken, but he's very tough. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you, you just, it, it's what you're trying to do is get them to be nice enough to submit your invoice <laughs> and get paid. Priya, yeah. do you have any other issues? You're the guest panelist. My issues. Um, no, I don't know. No, okay. I'm just I'm giving you a chance. You don't have to, okay? I'm just, you know, saying no, you've got I, I Uncle Ernie it. and, and uh, Ivan and Mario. You know, know, if you, yeah. if you want to bounce anything off them, feel feel free. Mm. So, yeah, sure. My issue right okay. now is recruiting. <laughs> <laughs> I am struggling some days, and I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Um, Very good. Yeah. Wait, can we we can say the F word, right? Oh, you, can't, you, can't, you can't use that word. No, that word she knows. Okay, <laughs> she's an immigrant, <laughs> but she knows this. Okay, there you go. Don't so ever run for reason. Congress because <laughs> okay, so yeah, are you is well, anybody else? Well, well, you told us though that you handle all the resourcing and recruiting for your company because uh, you're so fantastic at it, and I believe you. Okay, why? What's happened lately that's caused the problem? Well, I took it back, right? Because then I saw Brian Fink and I saw Mike Cohen and I'm like, oh my God, I'm a nobody. Um, but anyway, I don't know. People are just not engaged and we're doing everything right. Like job postings, getting creative, sourcing, thinking outside the box, comp, increasing them, relocation yeah. bonus. Are you talking about candidates? You're talking about clients? Candidates. Clients are over-engaged, like constantly. Did you find someone? Did you find someone? No, no, I will find somebody and send it in your inbox. Don't stress. Uh, Priya, me. I have a question if you don't mind me. What are your metrics like? How many people do you reach out to fill a position? For a position? For a position generally, how many people do you reach out to? Um, I think last hardest position I worked on was I reached yeah. out to 45. That's not a lot. You're not reaching out, you're not That's reaching out enough people. Enough. That's very so small. Let I me know. ask you another question there. Are the positions you're reaching out for, are they well paying and then say over a hundred thousand or are they like sixty thousands? No, they're well paying. They're um masters and PhD levels. Really? No, do dollar I thought you were wow. handling technicians uh, who have mental breakdowns. Uh she has upgraded herself. Specifically, uh, like a mental health therapist, right? They want somebody with a master's or a PhD. How much? I'm sorry? How much in dollars? How much in dollars? It goes from 135, and I think the highest she said was 160. That's, that's not bad. No, it's somewhere. It's but in the Bay Area, that's not much. It's not much. But then there's RSUs, there's stock options, and relocation uh, package. So somebody from Alabama will be more than happy to move. And they express interest, too, in my outreach. But then there's nothing. There's radio silence. You, I, I, I kind of find that when you look at certain areas like the Bay Area, LA, and you look at New York, mm -hmm. and some areas like DC and whatever that are expensive, it's hard to get anybody to move to those areas to go outside, and 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 you got to kind of almost take those people and move them somewhere else. Yeah, like, but she was doing it without any problem before. I just I, I'm guessing that the market has just reached such a fever pitch right now, yeah. uh, in terms of hiring, uh, that uh, that's her problem. I'm surprised, but I'm going to offer you something. Both Brian Fink and Batman Mike Cohen have been on the show. What you should do is enroll them as guests. And you could spend the whole hour asking them your questions They're for free. <laughs> it's true. I'm not kidding. They've both been on. Uh, Mike, uh, you you talked about uh, how uh, Batman was talking about making those, comparing the two uh, search engines. Brian Fink came on here and told everybody how to uh, create the custom search engine and recommended his own uh, custom yeah. search engine. So those guys are quite free yeah. with their uh, information. Say, look, yeah. I want to ask you some questions. Uh, come on the Recruiting Animal Show with me. I, and, uh, I ping them very frequently. I think they'll block me soon. Oh, yeah? You know, like, when it, when, with your questions. But they, very they, nice. they always answer, though. Those they guys, do. Too, they, they do. do. But, you know, I was going to say one thing I've learned, especially being from California, is that people from Southern California do not want to go to Northern California, and Northern California people do not want to go to Southern California, and nobody wants to go to Central California. Oh, the boonies, yeah, no. And, and that's where I was born, the boonies say, so be careful, man. <laughs> lovely, lovely area. <laughs> My salia. Oh, <laughs> lovely, uh, lovely no, area. In the cost of living between NorCal and SoCal, world of a difference. So no, no one's moving. Yeah, but I mean, I, I always found that no matter what, that those folks don't 
want to move. I mean, they're, they're like Northern California people are totally different than Southern California people. So, yeah. so, so the, the question I guess I have for you as you're doing your search is, are you, are you trying to get people from out of the area into your area? Or are you just focusing on your area? No, now I'm looking outside of the state. I look anywhere. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, based on what I read, uh, how you could bring somebody in from Alabama to a very uh, uh, expensive place to live, like um, San Francisco. And then they can go to Hollywood after that. The, yeah. the, only, the only way I've found that I've been able to do that is when they got family there, you know, that yeah. they can move in with. Because, I mean, the price of housing in, that, in those areas, I mean, to buy a house, forget it. You know, yeah, you saw the price of housing, it's yeah. crazy. And it's actually going to be a fall after this. That's I have a future. question I want to ask. So maybe I can get this in before the show's over. Does anybody else have something? I have ask? another question also. Go ahead. I can you wait. Go on. Okay, okay, you guys go ahead. I'll save mine till uh, next week. Okay, go listen. Ahead. When you're running a cold call to a client, okay, and you're running your opener, and then when they ask in the middle, now normally I have a cold call. Hey, this is a cold call. Would you like to hang up now? And in the middle, they last like, who's calling? So do you normally answer who's calling or do you just still go along with the script? Oh, you answer. You just, huh. you don't dismiss their question, right? No. Do you? Who's calling? What do you mean? The receptionist says who's calling? No, no, no. I'm calling the directors directly. I don't call receptionists. And if the director is asking you who's calling, you just- You, like, you got to tell them I'm a headhunter. I want to do business with you. <laughs> okay, thank you. MaryLittleRecruiter.com. <laughs> Check me out. I Why gotta not? tell you, Mario the Recruiter.com is so easy to remember. Yeah. The guy could check, you know, you, you don't have to spell out Alexis recruiting or whatever your your yeah, formal name change is. it. Mario yeah. the Recruiter.com. It's so simple. It's so great. It was mine. Thank you. you gave. Yes, it's yours. Okay. So Thank but you you could say it's why it's Mario the Recruiter.com. That's who it is. <laughs> and it's it's a bit unique. <laughs> it's a bit unique. <laughs> It how is. can Mary? Let me ask you a question. Was that a real sure. question? I mean, how could you not tell? Yeah. Me? What? Do you, what? What else? No, could you tell I'll me? tell you why. See, I I normally run around like it's thirty seconds. Let me tell you why I'm calling. Okay. Sometimes they listen. Yes, or they stand the phone down after that, or you can hang up the phone. I told you about this open I'm using before, right? So it does get responses. All right. You know, we don't just remember wondering. what you said three shows ago. Tell us oh, right okay. now. <clears throat> so I told you I use an opener. Okay, like. Uh, Hey, is this, hey, is this Priya? Priya, you're going to hate me. There's a cold call. Do you want to hang up now? Or like, give me 30 seconds to tell you why I'm calling. I like it. Yeah, That's it's fine. pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. So what happens sometimes when I'm telling that they're like, who's this? Yeah. So what do you say then? Then I say, I normally go ahead, just Goodbye. use a cold call. Bye. Give me 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so you suggest, you know, opening up with this Mario. I'm a recruiter. Mario the recruiter .com, yeah. Mario. Or Mario, Mario yeah, Mario. Yeah, because Kart. look, look, it's like, it, it, look, it's just, I just, oh, oh, please, sorry. No, no, you go ahead. No, please, let, let, let Ivan get ahead. in there. Go ahead. Um, I feel here is Mario the recruiter. This is a cold call. Would be better because if you just say this is a cold call, this could be like about vacuum cleaners, you know, nonsense. <laughs> and you are car, actually car delivering. <laughs> Like something ex or Viagra or whatever, and, but you are actually delivering something that is for most people probably of interest. I am a headhunt. I am a uh, like a government tech headhunter, and this mm -hmm. is a cold call. And this already will be like, oh, okay, okay, I had. Well, uh, let's 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 talk about the approach, right? Yeah. I, I found that, and when I work with other recruiters, there are some recruiters that prefer just to send out emails and then they, they wait for a response. I myself, I like to, I pick up the phone and I call them, cold call, leave a message. I send an email and then I send a text that said, this is Ernie, your friend. I just sent you a text and an email. I mean, I sent you an email and a voicemail. So check it out. And, and, but it's just your style. And so I guess my question yeah. comes to to mind, what is your approach when you find a candidate that you like? I'm talking about clients, not candidates. Candidates are pretty easy. Well, she's, are you talking to me? She's talking about getting clients. I mean, candidates. Yeah, they're both talking. No, no, they're both talking about business development, Ernie. You fell asleep somewhere along no, the no, way. No, 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 no. I know. I know. Southern no, California and North I, California. I, but, but, but you all fell asleep because I'm talking to the guest. 
and the guest is concerned oh, about Oh, wow. The guest, the guest, the guest hey, understood. Mario, Mario ain't a guest. Ernie, ain't not a the fish. guest we understood. Know. Don't make her look dumb, okay? No, no. I think he's talking to me. Uh, it's confusing on the screen, but anyway. I just want to tell you something. Uh, he was gesticulating, okay? That's not a sexual term, okay? You saw Ernie was going like this. <laughs> That's, Ernie's like the Godfather. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ernie's got a famous one. Ernie's not happy. <laughs> Why can you make me happy? No. Ask me a question, Ernie. You gotta learn that one. Priya's not happy. <laughs> no, no, Priya, what, what's your approach for I'm candidates? I'm very aware of the fact that I'm not like the most approachable person on the phone, so I always go with text or email first. My personality just shines in text. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'll hopefully they don't pick up so I can leave a voicemail and say, hey, <laughs> I sent you an email. What's your voicemail? You got to tell them. You got to specify. Just simple. Hey, this is Priya from Yuki Careers. This is probably not a good time and it's easier to text sometimes. So, I But don't you say, hey, I'm a recruiter. I'm a healthcare recruiter, just like Ernie was saying, don't, or, or Ivan was saying, don't you tell them what you do? That's in my text. Because voicemail, and, and then your follow up, you don't put it in there. You say, "Oh, they saw my text for sure, and they're going to remember who I am by the time I get to my voicemail." Is that what you're assuming? I do. I should probably say that in my voicemail, right? I think so. I will. Although I tend to think of you as a very successful person. Ever, I criticize everybody here, but I, I tend to think that you're all smarter than me. Okay, so I'll take that compliment. That's not. That's a kind of a, a qualified compliment. I'm not just saying that. Just be polite. That's all. But the bottom line is okay. Okay, so so uh, Priya said she had a, uh, an issue as well. She wanted to raise after Mario, didn't you? Uh oh yeah. I had a question. How long do you guys sit on an open rack until you realize? This is not happening. Give us an example. No. Tell, tell us, give yeah. us an example. Is, is, that a, is that an open rec where you submitted candidates or you haven't found anybody? Um, you haven't found anybody. So how long do you sit uh, until you go mm -hmm. back to the client and say, you know what? Well, you use, I, I, I use those as an opener to, to go back with them and say, look, you're looking for this uh, production supervisor. I have not found anybody. I have sourced and, and talked to 30 clients, 30 candidates, and I haven't found anybody. So I'm just giving you an update. So you know that I'm still working on it. It's a priority for me. Okay. And then you say, are there any other hard to fill positions that you want me to focus on? But Hold on a second. But wouldn't, Ernie, when she goes back, is it, so you sort of like started something. I don't think you completed the idea. Does she give the uh, the feedback of her market? Listen, I've talked to X number of people I'm, and I haven't even found anybody. And this is why they're all saying they're earning $10,000 more. Okay. So but, either yeah, we mean, have that, to raise the salary or I can't pursue it any further. I I did, and, on a grid. Yeah. And, and that's exactly right, Animal. It, but the thing is, I think if you're talking to them, you got to understand one thing. They're on the, they're on the firing line from their hiring manager, yeah. and they are looking for somebody. And what you're doing is rather than have have them call you and say, "Hey, what's going on?" or "You're not paying attention to me. Show me the love." You instead are saying every Monday I'm going to call them, or every Friday I'm going to call them and give them some sort of an update. And even if you haven't looked at that position all all week, yeah. it's not. A, but you give them some sort of an update. Will you make up the numbers? <laughs> so, you're always you're always looking you're always looking so the mental health therapist right obviously i'm struggling with it every wednesday client uh, recruiter internal recruiter and i get on a call same exact conversation did you find someone no did you No. but at some point she has to i have to tell her i'm gonna stop the search i don't get any traction right well, you, what do you think uh, i right. wouldn't agree on that okay I have a position that's been open from November and we have still been sending in candidates. Okay. It's for a, uh, we have made over, we have got like four to five offers out on it. And uh, because the clearance gets delayed, we lost candidates on it. Okay. It's for a configuration manager in Texas. Okay. Yeah. So it's hey, yeah. hey, sometimes Priya, you just, was it, you was work it. with this therapist that you're looking at for, have you gotten other positions from this person? Yeah. So then you keep on feeling the pain with them. It's a hug, and and you don't you don't close it. Keep it open. Okay. That's your 
that's your conversation to keep talking with them. Ivan, walk away. I think this would like if this happened, then something went wrong in the very beginning, in my honest opinion. Because, like, if somebody says, I need like a java developer with 30 years of experience knowing five languages uh, fluent then i'm not going to take on the search because i know that there are going to be no results right so uh like this search i mean either you fill you you take such roles only with a retainer so if this happens you at least have the retainer and of course if you take a retainer money up front you should be you able to show away. that you, <laughs> you, that you well first of all you can't walk away that's true but second of all, you uh, actually really have to do work such that you can show it, right? But I mean, if you are, I think if you're niche down, then this shouldn't ha- like this shouldn't in a way happen. I feel. I mean, when I started, I definitely did stuff like that. That, that like it took like three months and still no one f- was fitting. But now I just don't take those searches but when I have the feeling it will take three months. That's the thing. It's not a hard search. I'm just baffled at the market, and I. It's not a hard search in theory. Yeah, it's the. It's the market, actually. The market is crazy. It's a sign of times. Yeah. Okay, but so, oh. but, but if you cut them loose, are they going to hate you? No. But you're cutting them loose just for that job. <laughs> you're cutting them loose for the. Hey, um, I want to ask you a question. How long do you uh, devote to the job every day? How long do I devote to a job? <laughs> yeah, um, that particular source, job you're talking about. You're sourcing the job? Yeah. 100% sourcing. I do it twice a week, constant. <laughs> Okay, so you don't work on that every day, right? No, there's other jobs. So how, okay, generally, how many hours have you spent on that job for a, a week? Give me an average. Eight hours. And you can work it, still work it. Why leave it? You never know. You may find a candidate. Well, how many job orders do you have? How many gem orders? What's a gem? Job, job order? orders, job orders. Job orders. Um, it's gone deaf. Ex- exclusive job orders, there's about 12. And then the other ones are like... There are other staff. Is this, <coughs> sorry, I was eating sunflower seeds. 12 exclusive choking. orders? That's is awesome. This, is this an exclusive? Yeah. yeah? 12 orders you know, exclusive, yeah. Well, I guess you got to tell her, listen, uh, if you want to give this out to some other recruiters, uh, I won't complain because I, I haven't had any success and I'll still work it, but I can't promise anything at this point. Because you, 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 it sounds like you beat it to death already and you, you want to walk away. The only concern is, that you might lose the your uh they might not be as impressed with you as they were before but you're 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 in a no win position you might as well be honest with them that's my that's that's what i would do but i don't i don't know what rich would do i can't see rich wasting uh he time on he'll on drop something. it yeah him. long he'll before super fast when? yeah i don't think he would have uh, spent a long time on it yeah because you- i think uh, priya what's the problem with the position it's the pay or the location or what nothing the, the company is great Pay is okay. Neither company. Okay. The pay is okay. Pay is okay. Have, you, have you submitted people? Stock options are higher. No, I can't get anybody to bite. And how many people have you talked to? For this one, about 35, 40. Maybe 45, yeah. I mean, you got a good enough excuses. I send them data. Like, these are my responses. This is my outreach. You've done everything you could. I mean, let, yeah. it's a dead order. It's, it's, We're impressed, yeah. It's a, it's a low priority search then. Yeah, you so get the other one? I made the place and the money would have been, oh, I would not work for the rest of the year. Pray, are you open to doing a split on that? I'll have my team work on it. Yeah. You want to? Uh, yeah, why not? Send it over. I'll have my team work on it. We'll do a split. Cool. Okay. Final Let words, you know. anybody? Any final issues? I'm a nice person, everybody. And yeah. I'm not quirky or angry like <laughs> animals that I was. Just quirky. The word is quirky. Yeah, I don't think you're quirky. I, I, I've always been impressed with you. I was happy when you said you were coming on, but you oh, like to fight with me more now. Just like Amy fights, she was fight. She's fought with me since the first time she came on, but she's much more feisty now than she was in uh, in the you, old days. You know what I notice is that when people come on here a couple of times, a different character comes out. The more confidence, <laughs> and they're, you know. But at the beginning, they're like, uh, "Yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah." Maybe you got to loud people you're talking. Yeah. Now, when you know the 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 what the regulars are in here like like you pre they come in they don't give a crap what anyone else is. Our peers in recruiting will eat you up and not even spit out your bones if you're not like confident in what you're saying. We're we're very snarky people. Okay. <laughs> Priya, give us your URL <laughs> closing. U K U K E Y. Career Solutions dot org. 
Okay. Mary of the recruiter.com food industry no. recruiter, the man in purple clang.so. He's an IT recruiter in Switzerland who Smile. built his own Smile. applicant Smile. tracking system Smile. that everybody Smile. loves. <laughs> and I'm the recruiting animal, recruitinganimal.com. Thanks everybody. Thank you. See you soon.